Hi team, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the five basic kicks all beginners need to know in our style of Taekwondo. Let's get to it. Before we begin, I want to say that every style of martial arts and every instructor out there has their own emphasis and requirements that beginners need to know. What we are talking about today is what I believe all beginners should need or should know. With that said, we're going to be talking about the five basic kicks, which is the front snap kick, the roundhouse kick, the axe kick, the standing side kick or just side kick, and then finally the back turning kick, a slightly more advanced kick. Okay. For the very first kick you ever usually learn in martial arts is the front snap kick. This is an important kick, not only just for self-defense reasons, but it's also a great kick that ends up turning into your other kicks down the road, okay? And we'll talk about that in a minute. But first, let's get really good at breaking down the front snap kick. The, front, the very first thing I'm gonna do is assume a good fighting stance, okay? Doesn't matter if I'm using a Taekwondo fighting stance or a squared stance, I need to be able to bring my knee up, okay? Once I bring my knee up, out, back, and down, okay? That's the easiest way to break the front snap kick down, okay? I'm here, hands up, elbows in. Bring my kicking leg up. This is called a chamber position. From here, it's gonna snap out, snap back, and down. Usually you use this kick going after like the inner thigh, in between the legs, under the chin, okay? With that said, there's a couple of different ways you can kick with this. You can either hit with the top of your foot, Okay, and that's usually how most beginners learn it, here, there, or you can do it where you pull your toes back and hit with the uh, ball of your foot, here, there, okay? So make sure that you understand all of the basics of this kick. Let's do it. The roundhouse kick is probably one of the most used kicks in Taekwondo, okay? The reason is, is this kick will eventually develop into all of your other kicks, your jump roundhouse, your scissor kicks, your tornado kicks. Okay, now that said, there's also a couple of different versions of roundhouse kick. As a beginner, we usually teach the snapping version. Okay, now think of it like this. A front snap kick goes up and down. The roundhouse kick is the same kick, but it goes side to side. Okay, with that said, you've got to rotate your hips and turn on your base leg. Okay, I'm here, hands up, elbows in. Doesn't matter if I'm in a fight, uh, sideways stance or a uh, forward stance, square stance. I'm going to bring my knee up, over, Kick, back, down, okay? Let me break it down one more time sideways this time, okay? Here, my knee comes up, my knee goes over, I kick, back, down, okay? Roundhouse kick, here, there. That's the snapping version. Now, doesn't matter if I kick low, middle, or high, the kick is the exact same. If I'm going to kick low on my target, my knee still needs to come up and then down. If I kick middle, here, there. It's the exact same path, even if I'm kicking high, okay? That is your basic roundhouse kick, okay? Just like with everything, there's many different versions of kicks out there, okay? As a beginner, the next kick you uh, want to learn is what's called an axe kick, okay? The axe kick, just like you're chopping wood with an axe, is a kick designed to go up over someone's defenses and then come down on either the top of the head if they look up, it comes down on the face, or it slams down on the uh, clavicle right here, breaking that, okay? This is a very powerful kick, so make sure you're always careful when you use this kick, okay? When I do an ax kick, unlike all the other kicks that we've done, which are snapping kicks, or thrusting kicks as the side kick is, the ax kick is a slam, okay? I keep my leg straight, it swings up, and then comes down. Okay. I want to pull my toes back just like the side kick, and I want to use the back of my heel to slam down on the target. Here, there. Let me turn so that you can see the, the path of the axe kick. The axe kick actually starts its life as a small circle, or a half circle, and then it slams down. Here, there. Now, there is another version of the axe kick where it comes from this direction. Here, there. And you'll need to figure out which one works best for you and also which one works best in which situation. Later in life, you'll also, or later in your training, you'll also learn a snapping version of this kick. But we'll talk about that another day. The next kick we're going to be doing today as a beginner student is our side kick. Okay? And this is by far one of my favorite kicks out there. It's one of the hardest kicks for your opponent to see. So develop a good side kick. 
okay? I'm gonna actually start this one by standing sideways and kicking this way so you guys can see what I'm doing, okay? As a beginner, the very first one you, uh, side kick you learn is what I call a standing side kick. You'll also sometimes hear it called a cutter kick, okay? All I'm gonna do is bring my knee up, turn my hip over, and then shoot my leg straight off to the side. Look over your shoulder at what you want to hit, okay? When I do this, I come up, my knee comes over, out, back, down, okay? Um, the back turning kick is by far one of my favorite kicks out there, just like the side kick. It is a very hard kick that, uh, for your opponent to see coming when you do it correctly, okay? Now, with that said, the back turning kick, I usually start teaching this to beginners after about, you know, two, three, four months of training. Um, usually after they've done their first belt exam is when I'll start teaching the back turning kick just because you want to have some basic side kick uh, techniques before you do the true back turning kick okay so let's do back turning I'm here hands up elbows in okay I'm going to turn and point my heel at what I want to kick look over my shoulder and then from the ground I want to bring my leg up under my body and shoot it out straight okay um, and we'll come back in a second and I'll show you what people do wrong with this, okay? The back turning kick, again, so if I'm kicking this way, right? I want here, I want to turn, okay? As I turn my front leg, I point my heel at what I'm gonna kick. I throw my head, look over my shoulder. And then from here, there, okay? Again, here, there. It thrusts out like a side kick and then it comes straight back. Okay, remember, pull your toes back, hit with that heel, okay? Uh, with my youngest students, I always joke, do you want to hit with the toes, which is like a squeaky hammer, or do you want to hit with the heel, which is like a sledgehammer, okay? Nine times out of ten, the sledgehammer is what you want to hit with, okay? That's the heel. Pull the toes back, hit with that heel. Watch one more time, okay? If I'm going this way, hands up, elbows in. Turn, point the heel at what I want to hit. Look, throw my head, look over my shoulder at what I'm going to kick. Bring the leg under my body, and then out straight at the target, okay? Now, with that said, word of warning. Don't throw, or don't swing your knee like this as you kick, okay? The reason is, it's too easy to see, okay? And if it's easy to see, it's easy to dodge or stop. I want to hide my technique. I don't want them to see it until it's too late and it's already hit them, okay? There you have it, the five basic kicks all beginners in Taekwondo should uh, know. With that said, we I chose these five kicks because these kicks will eventually turn into other kicks or your more advanced kicks, okay? Like your jump roundhouse, your fly side, your jump back turning. You have to have good basic kicks before you can even think about doing the more advanced kicks, okay? A, you can't do a jump roundhouse if you don't have a good roundhouse. Can't do a tornado kick if you don't have a good jump roundhouse. Can't do the jump roundhouse if you don't have a good roundhouse. Okay, so really good, good with these five basic kicks. If it's your first time here, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something that can help you in your own training. If you'd like to join our team, hit the subscribe button. While you're doing that, make sure you also hit the bell icon so that you're notified every time we post a video. We post videos covering all aspects of martial arts. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video.